We do want to move now to the 2024 campaign trail, which today takes us to South Carolina. Former President Trump rallying in front of his supporters today ahead of the fourth. He is taking shots at some of the other Republican candidates. News Nation correspondent Evan Moon live for us in Pickens, South Carolina with it all. Evan. Hi, Natasha. Yeah, we are here in the small town of Pickens, which earlier today saw thousands of people here to see the former president ahead of their 4th of July celebrations. Uh, a lot of them have left now, but we were able to catch up with some of those South Carolina voters and ask them about Trump taking on 2024. There's nowhere else I'd rather be to kick off the 4th of July weekend. Than right the former president kicking off the holiday weekend in Pickens, South Carolina. The small town with a population of just over 3,000, garnering tens of thousands more today. Were you shocked to hear he was coming here? Absolutely, 100% shocked. This is the biggest thing that's happened to Pickens ever. <laughs> this is his base. He's this is the most patriotic tiny town in the history of patriotic tiny towns. His message on taking the Oval in 2024 was strong for his base here, winning the state by 10 points in 2020. Pickens County specifically, voting nearly 75% for Trump. With the help of everyone here today, we're going to win the South Carolina primary seven months from now. Big. Trump reacting to this week's controversial Supreme Court decisions, overturning affirmative action and blocking Biden's student loan forgiveness plan. We appointed nearly 300 federal judges and three great Supreme Court justices. And this week, those justices ruled to move our country forward with a merit-based system of education. How big is that? And commenting on his most recent indictment. In other words, the Espionage Act has been used to go after traitors and spies. It has nothing to do with a former president legally keeping documents. As Trump speaks in South Carolina, he leads in the polls against two 2024 GOP hopefuls from the Palmetto State former Governor Nikki Haley and Senator Tim Scott. But you have Tim Scott and you have Nikki Haley running. But leading by so much that people don't even want to put out the numbers. Some of his fellow GOP contenders speaking at a Moms for Liberty event yesterday, including Trump's biggest opponent, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who appeared to throw a slight his way. 2024 is the time to put up or shut up. No more excuses about why we can't win against the left. No more excuses about why you didn't do what you said you would do. The time to act is now. We have to have a new generational leader. We can't look back. We've got to look forward. And in Nikki Haley and Tim Scott's territory today, we asked voters here how they feel about Trump's two South Carolina challengers. I love Tim Scott, but Nikki Haley needs to go. Does Rhino mean anything to you? <laughs> right now, we, we need the man himself, Donald J. Trump. They all need to get behind Donald Trump, you know, as one. Now, the event today here in Pickens, South Carolina, is following a trend we've been seeing by the former president this campaign season, seemingly staying more in southern states and traveling far less than he did in previous campaign seasons and then his opponents. Uh, we'll show you a map here of the places he's been so far this year. Trump hitting only 20 cities compared to DeSantis, who's hit 52 so far this year. So just interesting to note that choice to come here to South Carolina on the 4th of July weekend instead of perhaps those early primary states like Iowa and New Hampshire, Natasha. Okay, interesting to track that strategy. Evan Moon live for us in South Carolina. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.